Oh, all right. Can we talk about this year is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. We're cele celebrating it big time on Good Day New York. Today, we're going inside a photo exhibit that features some of the biggest names in the game. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, always ready for more and more hip hop. All right, Crystal Young, take it away. <laughs> That's right. Well, the exhibition is called In Your Grill. So let me set the stage for a second. Michael Benabib, young, native New Yorker, hungry to experience life and loves photography. He literally lands on the doorstep of hip hop. When the door opens, he falls in. He turns into a celebrity photographer, taking some of the most iconic photos of some of the biggest icons in hip hop. Take a look. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but you don't have to tell that to Michael Benaby. I'm glad you chose Khalees. She just, you know, walked into the studio, sat on that couch, and I was like, that's the picture. The native New Yorker and celebrity photographer is not only celebrating 50 years of hip hop, he's celebrating his time on the other side of the lens from some of the art form's most iconic players. I would turn off the lights in the studio and then just use a regular flashlight like you would do when your lights go out and paint the person. And I say, Tiff, do not move. The In Your Grill exhibit at the Legacy Studio on Orchard Street takes you on a hip-hop journey, one that for Michael began outside the Manhattan office of a rap pioneer. I would walk by every day because I live in the village. It was the very first office of Def Jam Rush Communications. It was Russell Simmons' office. And I saw everybody out on the sidewalk there, and I started taking pictures there. Okay. And this guy, Curious George, he says to me, you should show these pictures to Russell. I'm like, who's Russell? He's like, Russell Simmons, this is his business. Mm -hmm. I put an envelope under the door. I got a call the next day. I did my first legitimate hip hop job. Wow. So it found me. These photos represent decades of work, and there are a lot of them. So Michael used his time during the pandemic wisely to go through everything, catalog it, and get it ready for this exhibition. So who was the first female hip-hop artist Michael ever photographed? Dana Latifah, Queen Latifah. This pic became the cover of one of her early albums, The Takeover. Now the most beautiful artist, hands down, the late Aaliyah. Aaliyah. It was like, you know, I could just, I don't even need to open my eyes and start clicking that camera, you know. And you know you're going to get something good on the back end. More legends gone but not forgotten. Easy E, Heavy D, DMX, and TLC's left eye. So young, so beautiful, and she's yes. gone. Yes. You know, but we are paying respect to their memory by keeping them alive, by looking at their photo, by listening to their music. And that's, so that, that's what we can do. Early salt and pepper. They formed their style. I formed my technique. And that was trust yeah. between. Yeah. You know, they knew me when, I knew them when. And the Fugees. I shot them, and my big regret, mm -hmm. I didn't take pictures of them individually because they all became individual solo artists. Praz, Wyclef, Lauren. Yeah. I just shot them as a group. Yeah. Lauren left a book about philosophy in my studio. She came back the next day, uh -huh. and I still didn't shoot pictures <laughs> of her. How about this one? That's great. Uh, you know, Biggie, you can't take a bad picture of Biggie. He's, he's got to be one of my favorite all-time rappers. His work has appeared in publications like Right On, Vibe. Newsweek, Rolling Stone, Vogue, Vanity Fair, GQ, and The Wall Street Journal, to name more than a few. And this one of Tupac, perhaps his most famous, is in the Smithsonian. Now one of my faves, this one of Mary J. I did her first ever publicity picture for MCA, her first ever publicity picture. And then I did the album cover for the 411 remix. Ooh. We have five pictures of Naughty by Nature here. That's a lot dedicated to Naughty by Nature. Tell me why. But because, look, <laughs> they just knew how to work a camera. He's got a freaking chainsaw. I was just gonna say he's had a chainsaw. My eyes are deceiving me. Yeah, look, look at the, he's not, he doesn't have a gold chain. He's got a padlock. <laughs> what was this hanging out on the dunes? And yeah. where was this? Joe, you see, they were such pains in the asses, but <laughs> the music was so good. You know, their manager said to me, he said, if they razz you, that means they like you. Okay. Did they like you? They razzed me. <laughs> Dr. Dre, he says, this is my boy Snoop. He's going to be the next big thing. Now, every rapper has a protege. Uh -huh. 
But with Dr. Dre, you take it seriously. I shot this picture, which is probably the youngest Snoop photo you'll ever see. Right. So this was shot in my home in my studio. Mm -hmm. I've been to his home in his studio. And then I shot him twice for High Times Magazine. Chuck Hancock can sum up the exhibition in just a few words. See it in a heartbeat. I'm pretty sure these photos will have you reminiscing about the good old days and wondering just who Michael Binaby might be capturing next. As a, right. hip, as a hip-hop connoisseur, what'd you think? Fantastic. I know his work, love his work, Michael yeah. Benneby, ridiculous, yeah. iconic photos. Yep. And he's still a working photographer. He said the rent is too damn high, so I am still working. He has a, uh, a studio in Midtown. Um, but you can catch all of this online if you miss it in person, but it's until the 27th. 98 I gotta see it. Orchard Street, Legacy NYC is the gallery. I gotta see it. Yes, go support. Native Especially New in Yorker. person, I'm sure the pictures and the color. Oh my God, you'll yeah. want to drool on some of yeah, them. Memories, sure. memories. Don't yes. get me sing. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you, Crystal. Sure.